What is type 2 diabetes part 3? Increasing the amount of physical activity you do can help manage your blood glucose. Physical activity can also help you lose weight and can reduce your risk of heart disease. A good goal is to get between 30 and 60 minutes of moderate activity on most days. But if you're trying to lose weight, you may need more. Talk to your health care provider about setting an activity goal that's right for you. Try some aerobic exercises, such as walking, cycling, or swimming. Find an activity you like and stick with it. Also, try to work physical activity into your daily routine. For example, walk to the store instead of driving, or use the stairs instead of the elevator. Anything that keeps you on your feet and moving will help lower your blood glucose and reduce your risk of heart problems. Your health care provider may prescribe medication if healthy food choices and physical activity don't keep your blood glucose in a healthy range. This medication may come in the form of pills, which help your body make or use insulin. Or it could be injections of insulin or other diabetes medications. Based on your blood glucose results and your eating and living habits, you and your diabetes care team can determine which type of medication is best for you. But remember, even if you take medication, you still need to make healthy food choices, increase your physical activity, and check your blood glucose to see how well your management plan is working for you. Checking your blood glucose involves home blood glucose checks as well as tests performed by your diabetes care team. Home blood glucose checks usually involve taking a small amount of blood and placing it on a test strip that is inserted into a home glucose meter. To show how well your blood glucose has been managed during the past six to eight weeks, your diabetes care team will perform an A1C test you should receive this test at least twice a year. To maintain your overall health when you have diabetes, learn more about the importance of skin and foot care, eye exams, your heart health, and dental care, because people with poorly controlled blood glucose are more likely to suffer the long-term complications of diabetes. High blood glucose levels are more likely to lead to infections, which heal very slowly. Taking good care of your skin can help minimize this complication. The feet in particular should get special attention since minor irritations can turn into serious problems. As we've said, having too much glucose in your blood for a long period of time contributes to heart disease. The exact connection between diabetes and heart disease is not yet clear but we do know that it's related to high blood glucose, high cholesterol and or triglycerides, and high blood pressure. By keeping your blood glucose in your target range, your blood pressure and cholesterol in a normal range, and not using tobacco, you are doing a great deal to lower your risk of heart disease. High blood glucose levels can affect your eyes, so you should have an eye examination each year by an eye doctor called an ophthalmologist. This checkup should include an examination of your retinas through dilated pupils. Good dental care is also important. To make sure you've gotten the important points, let's review. When you have diabetes, too much glucose, a form of sugar, builds up in your blood. This is called high blood glucose or hyperglycemia. Work with your diabetes care team to get your blood glucose back into your healthy target range. Your management plan is your guide. Learn all you can about diabetes. Make healthy food choices. 
get regular physical activity, monitor your blood glucose, and take medications if you need to. Following your management plan will help you feel better today and also help prevent or delay diabetes complications so that you can enjoy a better quality of life. My advice is to have a plan, a daily plan, and um, keep in mind that you're here in this life for a purpose and that people love you, you have family, you have friends, and diabetes is a disease that um, you could control. Diabetes cannot control you, but you could control it. This concludes part three of What is Type 2 Diabetes?